Welcome to my new filming setup. I put up some fairy lights because these are just the most adorable things ever. Got them for Christmas. Hey. Hey guys, my name is Hannah and it is the end of 2017. It is the final day of 2017 today and I have no idea how that happened. For only half the year I've been doing booktube and that's just, it feels like it's been so much longer yet the year feels like it's gone so quickly. No idea how that works. But today I've got a video for you telling you my bookish New Year's resolutions. I have got some non-bookish ones but you probably don't care about those so I'm going to talk to you about the New Year's resolutions that I have that involve reading and books. So without further ado let's get started. The first thing that I've got on here is to participate in the Goodreads reading challenge. I did try this this year but I forgot to record all the books that I read and then it just it was a bit of a mess so I dropped out of the reading challenge and this coming up here is a fresh start where I can start a reading challenge. I am going to try to read 45 books and that is quite ambitious for me. I think that I'll be happy with 40 but I'm gonna push for 45. I don't think that I'm gonna get many more than that done this year simply because I've got two sets of important mocks coming up before my GCSEs in 2019. So that will be a lot of time where I'm not going to be reading so that I can revise instead and study so that will cut out a big chunk of my reading time but I'm still going to aim for 45. Some people read like crazy amounts like 150 books a year and I mean if you want to read 150 books a year go ahead but if you read only 20 books a year that's still fine 10 books a year as long as you're reading and enjoying read at your own pace read whatever books you want I'm gonna go for in the middle somewhere and that's at 45 and hopefully I'll get that done number two I want to make more time for me to read this year has been not very good for me in terms of reading I haven't made nearly enough attempts to make time to read and I found myself planning and editing and filming and uploading videos which I do love to do I love it it's a passion of mine I love it it's one of my biggest hobbies but I found myself doing that to procrastinate from reading in a way and I don't understand why. When I sit down to read I absolutely love it but I just don't make enough time for me to do so which is probably why I haven't read a lot this year. And reading is meant to be calming, I'm meant to be using it to relax and to unwind and what I've been doing is not reading which stresses me out. I don't know why it stresses me out, I shouldn't let it but it does so to improve my reading experience throughout the coming up year I'm going to make sure that I put more time aside for me to read every single day. Number three, I want to read classics. There has been this one particular classic that I have been meaning to read for so long, so long, and that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I love the movie and the series and just so good. And sometimes when I can't sleep, I listen to the audiobook on YouTube, but because I just listen to the beginning 20, 30 minutes, I just hear the same part over and over again. But reading the audiobook has given me the idea to listen to the audiobook of Pride and Prejudice, hopefully alongside the book, because classics do tend to have more difficult language, more difficult to read and understand and I think that hearing it will really help me grasp it more. Obviously I already know the storyline so that will help me a lot as well but I need to dive out of my comfort zone and read more difficult books so if you've got any good classics that I should read just let me know down below, comment, recommend me some of your favourite classics and I will try to read them. Number four, it kind of links to the second one but it's not to stress out when I don't reach my TBRs and my reading goals and I just found that that was a big problem for me in 2017. Anytime that I've made a list of books that I want to read. I never ever ever achieve them. I never reach them. It just puts me in a slumpish mood. I don't want to read. I think what's the point if I'm not going to reach this goal or I'm not going to read that many books this month or this or that. And it's just a really bad mindset to be in when it comes to reading. Like I said before, reading is meant to calm you down. It's meant to be relaxing. It's what you do when you're stressed out, not something that you do to stress out. So I want to be more calm when I read. Do it when I want to whilst making time to do it. <laughs> Think of it as more of something leisurely than something that I need to do for booktube for example. I need to read at my own pace, read which books I want. If I decide suddenly that I don't want to read this book next one that I was planning, sure whatever, read the other book, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to read what I want to read, obviously taking recommendations from other people as well, but just try to calm down around the activity of reading. Number five, I want to start writing in my books. Writing in your books really makes them your own and I just haven't done it to any of my books. All the books here, not a single one has writing in it. And I think that the best time to annotate your books is when you're rereading because you can spoil it for yourself, obviously it's your book, you can write spoilers in it, stuff that's going to happen later on, and you can really make links and connections that you didn't see before because you're rereading it. You know everything that's going to happen and you can see stuff from the beginning that you may have completely missed hints along the way. Things could have just been outright said and you didn't think of it in such a literal sense. For example, in The Raven Boys, something to do with Noah. You'll know what I mean if you've read them, but it just it literally says something and my mind just didn't even think of it as an option. I thought it's like, oh yeah, it's funny, it's a joke, right? <laughs> nope. Yep. <laughs> but 
the main books I'm going to write in this year are dun, 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 dun. who can guess who can guess who can guess you guessed it <laughs> the throne of last series I'm going to reread these with my sister before the last book comes out it better be really long because if we want to fit in everything that needs to happen and for it to be done well it needs to be a big book and I'm so ready to read a massive book but I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I finish I'm going off track I need to go back to the fact that I'm going to write in them like I said my sister and I are going to reread them in the summer before the last book comes out and that is going to be my chance to write in them. Sarah Dumas, she manages to intertwine all her books so much and I can already tell that I'm going to find loads and loads of clues in Throne of Glass as to what would happen in Tower of Dawn. I bet you. Things like that are going to happen and I'm going to find these connections and they're going to be so exciting and I'm going to get to write them down to make a prediction of what will happen in the last book. <laughs> still not ready. Number six, this may make it seem like I want to put more stress on myself but I want to start reading vlogs and this is for multiple reasons. Firstly it will help me keep track of my reading better. Second of all I love vlogging. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to want to do it. Thirdly it will help you guys know more of what I'm reading, what kind of books I'm reading, which books I've read, which books I haven't, this that. And lastly it will also motivate me to read. I guess you could see it as it might stress me out and make me read when I don't want to be reading just in order to get footage but I don't think it will be like that. I'm not going to force myself to get a reading vlog up every single week. Just when I want to, you know, when I want to keep track of my reading, when I want to speak about how much I love a book without spoiling, I won't spoil. I'm not Satan. But I just think that it's going to be something that I'll really enjoy and I mean more vlogs. Who doesn't love a good old vlog? <laughs> so the final two are more social media based but they're still connected to reading and the first one is to keep track of my reading on Goodreads. <laughs> like I said earlier on, I messed that up earlier on this year in the beginning so I have no clue which books I read this year, how many books I read this year, I just I have no idea at all. So I want to be able to know which books I read, how many books I read by the end of the year and obviously I'll do that by participating in the reading challenge. I want to start giving all the books that I read ratings because I get intimidated by ratings in case when I'm older I change my mind or if I just don't know. It's, sometimes I just don't know what to rate a book but I'm going to start putting more thought into it and try to differentiate which books I really really loved to which books I enjoyed and liked and which books I didn't like so much so I have tried doing that more towards the end of the year and I have gotten a lot better at recording the books that I read but I want to start right from the start start 2018 off with a bang it's gonna be great and ah, I'm so 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 ready and the final one is this what is it I think it's number eight I don't know, is to post more on Bookstagram. Not really to do with reading, but still to do with books. I don't post on Bookstagram nearly enough. I love photography and I love taking pictures, but I guess that in winter now, I started the account, um, when was it? Was it autumn? I think it was in autumn. So it was already starting to get dark, especially now in winter. So I can only take pictures on weekends or on holidays, which I'm on now. And even then, I just, I don't do it enough. But I think that these fairy lights will motivate me to want to post more. And also, as spring gets nearer and nearer, and summer eventually, I want to post more on Bookstagram. Just Bookstagram, the aesthetic is just my life. It's just so good. If you want to follow me on Bookstagram, you know, just a bit of self-promo, as you do. It is a throne of books with two S's on the end because someone took a throne of books and they don't even post anymore and it just makes me mad. But anyway, not, not the point. <laughs> a throne of books with two S's. If you want to go follow it, I'm proud of the pictures that I've put on there. Yeah, I guess that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. I'm getting a video up tomorrow. Before school starts, it starts on the 2nd. I seriously, I have one and a half weeks off for Christmas and that is it. <laughs> so not ready. I don't want to have to jump back into school. But I mean, here we go again. <laughs> I wish you a very, 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 very happy new year. I hope 2017 was a good year for you. If not, 2018, brand new leaf, brand new page. Just start good, start happy. And you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching. All of my social media will be linked down below. And I guess I'll see you next year. Bye. <laughs>